Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII, and hopefully you can hear this episode. Alright, I'm going to go left, straight on, and then right. Eric, you're back! Come, look at the flowers! <coughs> Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Ooh, shit. You alright? Feel free to come back anytime and enjoy the flowers. You brought us such lovely flowers. Thank you. You're welcome. Feel free to come back anytime and enjoy the flowers. I'm sure I will, because Cloud seems the type. Oh. You're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't <coughs> suppose you've seen any of them, have you? <sighs> you see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Homemade swords. I think I saw one of them. Back at the thing. Right, so we go down here. Yep, yeah, and then this way. Have we got an area to search? Yeah, okay. Kids with swords on their back. Oh, there's one. Oh, Cloud? Hey there, how goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But, don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Alright. That's one down. There's another one. <laughs> wow! You're that soldier, right? Can I ask you a super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! <laughs> okay, this seems relatively simple. How is it gonna go horribly wrong, I wonder? Going down here? One thing I really do like about this game is the music. The music is really good. I might have to buy the soundtrack. Take more of my money, Final Fantasy, why don't you? Hey, Chadley. Oh, look, there's one kid there. Hello, Cloud. Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up too. 
You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. The reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! <laughs> All right. That's three. I right, saw so one with a sword in here. That's ambitious, kid. Right, are you one of the kids? Alright, no, he's not. No issue there then. Just wanted to check. Ah, there's. Keep going. Don't stop slacking now, Cloud. and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. Good job. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh, no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! <laughs> Alright. That's four. I'm assuming that they are all within the green circle. Oh yeah, that's the last one. You scared me. Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go study. Well, that should be all five. That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. Excellent. Well, that was a relatively stress-free mission. I appreciate. Can we have more like that, please? I'm sorry. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money. The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. <laughs> Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of <laughs> I'm sorry we had to give you such a dangerous job, but there's really no one else we could have asked. You're our only hope. Alright, where's this Toad King? <laughs> You're such a, such a softy cloud despite your... Uh, Bravado. Uh, 
Careful, kid. Right. <clears throat> Let's go find this Toad King. Or as, he, as the kids call him anyway. There's only one king in this Midgar, and that's me. The Cloud King. Moggy's kind of interesting, huh? He's weird, but he makes everyone around him really happy. You'll see. I'm sure I will. Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? Sure, why not? Just keep practicing, you'll get there in the end, kid. Guessing that wasn't the Toad King. Easy. Get him. <laughs> Nothing to it. Okay. Any boxes or anything to smash? No holding back. It's over. And we're safe. Relatively speaking. You're dead. That's that. There's some boxes. Moogle medal, thank you. That's enough of that. Cloud, snap out of it. Cloud! 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 To assess him. Best do it right. The Hedgehog King. Fire. 
Yes! There we go. Return to the leaf house. Yes! Cool! That was relatively painless. <laughs> so the Toad King was a Hedgehog King. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. <laughs> I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. Biggs? Oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Cool. Now oh, we're all healed up nicely. All right, cool. That's given. An, that's opened up another side mission. I guess that's what this episode is going to be predominantly full of. Never mind. We'll find out what's going on at the Earth's house later. Hey, Chadley. I'm sure he'd say something if I've fulfilled enough of the uh, assessing. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. Oh cool, another side mission. Sure to tell everyone around that you're here to help out. That way, you might get more work. Alright, let's talk to you. What do we have? Ooh, let's buy that actually. Thanks, you guys. I've got a whole mountain of Google medals now. Soon I'll be able to make everyone here super happy. That's wonderful. So, like Mog the Mogul. You'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopa. The wishes of every single person in the swamps. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. 
That's one way of doing it, Poopo. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? Uh, Moogle Magic, Poopo? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happy place. <laughs> right. Let's upgrade this and see if this provides, uh, makes Aerith a bit more useful because right now she really isn't all that. I mean, I know I used to rag on Tifa for not being much in the uh, attack department, but holy crap, is Aerith on another level of awful. Right. Oh, no. Need to exit this one. Right. Aerith, let's change your weapon to that. Yes. And then we'll... Right. No point giving you anything to summon. Wolf. You have wind material. Allows you to refocus. Limit break. Can only be used once per battle. Allows you to use ice magic. What else can we give you? That will make you ATP boost materia. That sounds useful. Okay, I think that will do. Right. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. Yeah. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're going to make a special exception just for you. All right. I didn't see that top bit. What did it say? Basic rules. Destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit. Each box will add to your score. And once the time reaches zero, the game is over. Reach the target score to win. The durability effects and the durability effects and score differ with each type of box. Yeah. Well, I think I've uh, topped that one. Sorry, kids. I'm the new champ. Wow, Cloud! I've never seen anyone do that before! See? Pretty fun, right? 
It was actually. Yay! Okay. Angel of the Slums. Let's go see this old guy. That was a pretty fun uh, mini game. I have to go back. Whether I can go back and do the darts one because I don't like the fact I didn't even get on the scoreboard. Right, where's this old guy? Right, to the right. Then left. I try. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ugh. That rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Ah, Robin Hood. Unless she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. I wonder why. Now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you. The work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Welcome any and all information pertaining to the so-called Angel of the Slums. Alrighty. Why, hello! What is it? The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. All right, ladies. I know the guardian angel of the slums? Well, I don't know much, but I do know she doesn't steal from the poor, and she doesn't kill anyone either. As far as I'm concerned, that's all I need to know. If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to is Marie. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you she knows everything about everyone around here. Who are you? Good to see you again, Marie. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. <laughs> she knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway... It so happens that I have some information for you. 
But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? I'll end up working for that John Cornelius. All right. Is there no saving me? I don't think I can listen to another um, of stories. There's a glitch in the matrix. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille? As in THE Mireille? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us, what do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hole up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about <laughs> you, but I can't go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here, wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. <laughs> of course. All right. Lookout point. Wow. Okay. Oh, sorry, kids. All right, should be out this way. Tracking around here. Oh well, at least there's more bo boxes to smash. Ooh, a high potion. <laughs> right, we're not going that way. Uh, none up the stairs. I'll protect you. I'm thinking of protecting you. It's over. Enough. It's over. That's that. Pretty good at protecting myself immediately. Immediately gets face hugged. All right, this way. Ah, whoa, Man, come on. That's it. Okay, that was the wrong move. Here we go. Uh, abilities. Assess. I got your number. Normally attacks do not affect its stagger gauge, but inflicting a certain amount of physical damage does make it susceptible to staggering. Furthermore, hitting its wrecking ball with magic attacks will quickly fill its stagger gauge. Alright. Back. 
Ah, that's what the big bombers are for. I don't like this little wall you've put up for yourself. Spells, fire up. Calling fire. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Pushing it. So it's my turn? Stay strong, okay? It's your turn. Let's do this. No, that one. Burn. Get ready. Deals deadly damage to prey, restores small amount of HP. No, that's not good. Cut it. You'll feel better in a second. Shake it off. For goodness sake. So I'll drain this and take no items. Hastens whoever drinks it. Go on. I 
Hang on. Oh, I can't change things, can I? That didn't do very much. Jesus. We have grenade. I think I'm getting used to Erif's uh, abilities. <coughs> Calling cards obtained. Of the slums. Collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Uh, yeah. I don't want to really run all that distance again. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Penned by the angel herself! So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find. Oh, was that all? 
Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around. I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. <laughs> Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's pocket. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? If you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. It's it. It's you, isn't it? I bet it's you. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. Alright, let's head back to Eve's house. I think we've done all we can here. And see what's going on there. And then I think we'll call this an episode. Oh, look who it is. And we've got a boss fight on our hands. You're not as I'm cool as you think you are. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. Whoa, okay. Alright, so he is a attack from a distance kind of enemy. Oh, fuck you! Why don't you take a nap for me? Can't keep eyes open. 
stupid. <coughs> Mind backing off a bit. You'll see. <laughs> so. Oh, get up. Can I? This might be it. Fuck's sake. Okay. I'm just so Oh, come on. Stop it. Yes, stop being a douche. Oh fuck fuck this guy, honestly. <laughs> oh fuck off. Right, I'm gonna have to end this episode here because it's, this one's already gone for a bit too long. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Final Fantasy VII, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>